Welcome back, Troglodytes, to the Troglies Guitar Show. Today we have the Red and Blue 2009 Gibson Zoot Suit SG. This is the second video documenting the whole collection of the Zoot Suit collection. And I decided to do this red and blue one because it seemed to be the next most popular one in the comments section. I nicknamed the red and blue ones the Superman SG. All they need is like a little bit of yellow on here and then it would be perfect. They could also done like a natural layer or a white colored layer to be USA themed. But the SG Zoot Suit was made from 2009 through 2012. And then in 2013, they did a Les Paul version in a rainbow color only. These guitars are constructed out of a birch body and a birch neck. And in order to get all these colors on this guitar, they dye each and every layer a different color. And then they glue them together and carve out the SG shape. So that's why no two of these guitars will be alike. You can see on this example, a characteristic mark is that this area didn't get sanded down as far as some of the other ones. So you just kind of have a red pool right here instead of the continued hourglass shape of blue. You can see it's starting to come through, but just not quite there yet. These guys have ebony fretboards and the hot 496R500T pickup combo. Now these pickups are a little bit special because they have the clear bobbins which help show off the colored wiring on the inside. In this case, it's a copper color. And they also have transparent pickup rings. That way they're not hiding any of the color of this guitar. Now it's kind of interesting about these ones. If you get them in the light just right, you can see they're starting to yellow with age. So that tells me this one was likely on display somewhere. Something else that's a little bit weird about this one is you kind of have these white spots in the finish, but you can see examples of that all over this guitar. Now it used to be all along here and in the armrest area, but after polishing this guitar up a little bit, some of that did disappear. So it might just be something that could be completely cleaned off. However, I was unsuccessful in getting all of it off. So these guitars are kind of collector's instruments or for people who like, you know, really wacky color designs. And personally, I like these Zoot Suit SGs. I never really thought twice about the red and blue version, but now that I have one in person and I can actually see this kind of dark aqua blue color, I really did like this finish once I got it in person. Now there's only been one modification to this guitar and it's the knobs. These have been changed to a clear speed knob, whereas they originally would have been a top hat. Everything else on this guitar is stock and working as it should. But these guitars truly are a work of art. If your favorite colors are red and blue, you couldn't get a cooler looking one. One of my favorite thing about these guitars is the view from the side. You can see all the different colors as well. And of course, a super colorful neck, but not quite as colorful as the rainbow one. Now, something interesting about the shapes of these guitars is it's not your typical SG. An SG is usually kind of flat. This one is more raised like a Les Paul. It kind of curves down here and then it goes up and forms a belly on the guitar. However, the back is the exact opposite. It actually caves into the guitar. And again, that's how they get all these different colored layers showing. It's very similar to an SG Diablo shape. So now that we've learned a little bit about this guitar, let's go ahead and hear how this one sounds. <laughs>
Now that we know how this guitar sounds, let's go ahead and review its condition. All right, so this guitar is in pretty good shape. You just kind of have very minor play wear. You can see there's some very tiny finish scratches from string changes and just polishing in general, but you still have the original nut. The truss rod adjusts just fine, and the frets only show very minor wear. Hardly any at all, to be honest. And your ebony fretboard is in great shape. It was just conditioned, and it's ready to be played. It is important to note that these SGs do have 24 frets, so that's something else that makes them not your typical SG, since they usually have 22 frets. You've got some picking scratches and some light scuffs on the front, and again that kind of mysterious whiteness, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there, but in my experience I have been able to clean some of it off, so maybe just a more professional polishing job is needed. It kind of gives it a cool vibe though, because it's almost like that red, white, and blue. Again, the knobs themselves have been replaced, probably because the original's cracked or somebody just liked the speed knob style better. Personally, I think it makes it a little bit cramped in between the toggle switch, but at least they kind of look like the original knobs. Original pickups are still in here, original bridge and tailpiece. Back of the headstock, our serial number is 02309058-1, which makes it a 2009 model. And you can see at the factory, they installed this Grover tuner just a little bit crooked. It happens to the best of us. It's not that noticeable, but it is a little bit off center. We have a really cool pin striped neck here with the red and blue design. I think last time I counted, I got a 33 piece neck. I think I counted 35 to 36 on this one. So it's definitely probably one of the strongest necks Gibson has ever made. The back of the guitar is also in good shape. You've got some light scratches and scuffs, but, but nothing too incredibly bad on this one, as you can see here. The back control cavity plate actually still has the original plastic over it, so you could remove that to get rid of all these little scratches as well. Everything in here is stock too. We'll take a quick look around the edge of this Superman SG. I mean, there's nothing really too wrong with this guitar if you can live with just a few picking scratches and polishing swirls. Now we'll do a black light test. It doesn't appear like those little white areas are where like the finish has been worn off or anything. So everything's looking good here on the face of the guitar. If you remember, I said the pickup rings look like they had aged a little bit. This kind of helps shows us that as well. Now the sides are also looking good on this, but there is one small thing that we need to go over on the back side of this guitar. I'm not sure if this happened at the factory or afterwards, but after looking at this in regular lighting, it looks like somebody might have taken a marker or some type of touch-up pen to make this red area completely red. When you look at it under normal light, it almost looks like it was kind of like an unstained area, but yet it feels like it's under the finish. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but you do have some type of finish touch-up or something going on there. You can kind of see what I'm talking about right here where it looks like it might have been lighter colored. The back of the neck is glowing the way I would expect to see. No breaks, cracks, or repairs on this one. And the face of the guitar is also glowing the way I would want to see. This guitar comes in an aftermarket hard shell case. It's better than the stock factory gig bags that they decided to sell these Zoot Suits in. I still don't understand why they didn't give these things proper cases from the factory. So this is just kind of one of your cheapy SG cases. It's got some scratches and scuffs. You've got three latches on it and a functioning handle. And the interior is your basic black color. Now is the fit of this case perfect? No, but it's a lot better than a gig bag. Unfortunately, you only have one neck rest, so I've got some bubble wrap in here to support the neck a little bit better. So side to side motion, it's not too bad, but up and down, it leaves a little bit to be desired. So it's not the best case in the world, but it's not the worst case either. If you think you might be interested in being the next owner of the red and blue SG Zoot Suit, 
feel free to contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglys, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. Thank you, Troglodytes, for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.